Sarah Silverman's major health scare, the comedian and actress says she is lucky to be alive. ABC's Abby Boudreau has her story. Oh, Sarah. This morning, actress and comedian Sarah Silverman, lucky to be alive, opening up on Facebook about her recent life-threatening medical scare, landing her in the hospital. I was in the ICU all of last week, she said. I am insanely lucky to be alive. Sarah. The 45-year-old undergoing emergency surgery after going to the doctor for what she thought was only a sore throat, writing, they had to have my hands restrained to keep me from pulling out my breathing tube. When I woke up five days later, I didn't remember anything. We know her as a hilarious comedian who is always joking around, and this is a moment where she gets really deep. Epiglottitis occurs when the epiglottis, the small piece of cartilage that covers the windpipe when you swallow, swells blocking air from getting into the lungs. It can cause respiratory failure. If you have terrible luck with roommates, you're the terrible roommate. <laughs> the Emmy-winning Sarah you, Silverman, no. We Are Miracle star, thanking her doctors, family, and friends for her real-life miracle. There wasn't a moment I was alone, she says. It makes me cry, which hurts my throat. So stop. Her sense of humor not lost on the tens of thousands of fans showing their support online, wishing her to get well and thanking her for making them laugh. This week she is back home out of the hospital and she's, you know, reflecting on everything she's been through and just, you know, trying to get her spirits back up. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreau, ABC News, Los Angeles. And joining us now, ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor, Dr. Richard Besser. So tell us more about her condition. Yeah, so, you know, take a look at this picture. It'll, it'll help explain it. The epiglottis, it's a small piece of cartilage. It sits right above your vocal cords and prevents any food or anything getting down into your larynx and into your wind, windpipe. With epiglottitis, that tissue gets infected or swollen. And the reason it's so dangerous is if that swells up, it can totally block off your windpipe, cut off all air, and can be fatal. What causes it? Well, there are a number of things. So it can be caused by infections, by bacteria or viruses. It can also be caused by direct damage to the tissue from burns, from chemicals or hot liquids, choking on a foreign body. And it's even been, been reported from smoking drugs like crack where it, where it causes swelling to that tissue. And what are the symptoms you should look out for? Well, you know, it, it's the worst sore throat of your life. The, the mm -hmm. symptoms are similar in adults and children. Very uh, Great difficulty, pain in the front of your neck difficulty swallowing, fever, you can have a muffled voice, and then drooling. You can't swallow to the point that your secretions Ooh. just come out. You, you, you could be drooling. You have treated children with this? I have. You know, when I was a pediatric resident, this was one of the things that scared us the most. You'd see a child come in, they'd look scared, and they could have this. Thankfully now, we, we vaccinate against something called H flu, and it has almost eliminated this in children. It's mm -hmm. why I'm so passionate about vaccinating children mm -hmm. before they get to school. That's another discussion. That is. <laughs> that is I always discussion. come back to I that. I know you always do. <laughs> Thanks so much.